No, it's impossible. And that's why Jesus said, you will receive power because the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Stand to your feet and open up yourself to him now. Let the power of the Holy Spirit as promised by Jesus once again be released in all its fullness upon your mind. That whatever the seed the wicked have sown in your life shall be consumed by the almighty power of God. Whatever the evil seed the wicked have planted in your destiny shall be consumed by the power of the living God. Open your hands and receive. For no might of the flesh, no arm of the flesh can win the battle of the spirit. No. Only the power of the living God. And Jesus said the Holy Spirit will come and there will be power. Holy Spirit, precious one. We need you again. Because we are contending not flesh and blood. For principalities, power, sovereignty. Occult men and women, witchcraft spirits, marine kingdoms, who continually oppress your children, who continually devastate the land and confuse the hearts of men, who continually afflict your people and even suck their blood. I come this day, Lord, as your servants, your priests, whom you have chosen and called for my generation, to say, Lord, the wicked shall not continue to ride upon the destiny of your children.
whether by means of money, whether by means of women and men, whether by means of the gifts they offer, or whether by means of their spell and charms, or whether by means of their magic, or whether by means of their enchantment. Lord, you said by no means shall they have your children. By the power of the living God, I come against every beast of wicked I use it to fight your people. Let their beasts be made useless. Let their beasts be rendered useless. Let their beasts be rendered useless. Let their beasts be decreed useless. In the power of the Holy Ghost. And in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, send your power upon your children. As this power is released, let every other power be swallowed up. Every other power, every written code against your life. The word of God says, He has cancelled the written code by reason of the nailing of the cross. Whatever they are written against your destiny, whether it is sickness, whether it is death, untimely death, whether it is affliction, whether it is against your children, whether it is your success, they are written against it. Whether they are written against your promotion, whether they are written against your happiness, your marriage, whether they are written against your fruitfulness, the word of God says every written code he has wiped away. By the blood of Jesus, I declare again what my Father, through the blood of the Lamb and the power of the Holy Ghost, has done for you. Let every written code be wiped away. Every negative code be wiped away. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is what we call a code that only belongs to those who know the secrets of the code. There is nothing a man can do to get through or break through to the code. He must be intelligent enough to be able to figure out what could the code be to break into this secret place. The greatest and the breaker of every code is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit comes down and codes are broken. I say this hour, whatever the written code that has been written concerning your life, concerning your home, concerning your children, let the power of the Holy Spirit Nothing is hidden from his presence. Nothing. No matter where they have hidden the cold. Holy Spirit locates that cold. And let your power break that cold out of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. watching a video concerning some soldiers definitely not in Nigeria who received this vaccine and they brought a phone and used this back phone and placed it on where the man um, took the vaccine and some numbers came out of the, uh, the, the phone. It is a secret code. When people make different kind of things, they have what you call codes, numbers, and they list some of these numbers such that nobody can easily 
penetrate that number. I speak this gracious hour to him who sees secret things, who knows secret powers and understands every code that has been raised concerning each person. How do you explain a spell cast where you were not, where you are not even living? And they just mix up some codes and raise your name and you begin to see the event in your life. You have the power of codes. It can operate from anywhere. Wherever the code exists, you can operate from anywhere. How do you explain from on earth? We could operate different things around the world and key in things and you begin to see what is happening in different parts of the world. That is what we call code. Every spiritual code that has been raised to monitor your life in order to continue to hinder your progress, obstruct your destiny, manipulate your glory, destroy your star, let the power of the Holy Spirit begin to consume that code. Let the Holy Ghost begin to consume their code. In the name of Jesus. I address every spiritual code they have set in your body that they need to manipulate your body. Anytime they want to cause you pain, they launch the code. Anytime they want to cause you affliction, they launch the code. Right now, by the power of God, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, the greatest and the power that penetrates every secret code. Let the spiritual code that have been written for you be rendered useless from this hour. The code they have been using to fight your business, that no matter what you do, no matter where you go, no matter the money you put into it, you are going down by day and by night. It is a number that is not known to anyone, to the Holy Ghost. It can be the combination of anything, but that it is a cause that the enemy will use to operate, to manipulate, and to get into many's life. I don't know the cause they may have raised with your name. In the corners, in their spiritual places, whatever the cause, and whatever the secret, the 
code is meant to achieve. Holy Spirit, the ever unknowing one, before whom no secret is hidden, penetrate the lives of your children this hour. Let your power descend upon them. Let your power rest upon them. Let your power overshadow them. In the name of Jesus, that everything comes shall be wiped away. There is a natural code God makes them that things must follow their natural ways. It is natural that for a child to be born, there must be the seed of the woman and the seed of the man. It is a divine code that he has made. And that is why humans understood that code and that's why they can do what they call IBM. Using the divine code. When the angel came to Mary and said, you are going to bear a child, Mary said the code is not complete. There must be the completion of the code of the woman and the man for that to happen. The angel said, don't worry about that. There is a power that can break through any code. And when that power comes upon you, the code will be rendered useless. That is the power I am calling upon your life today. When the Holy Ghost overshadowed Mary, the code was unnecessary. And that's why Joseph was confused. Joseph said, it cannot happen. Don't tell me anything. It is impossible. There is a divine code and no man can break through that code. How come you are pregnant without the second code before? He said, the Holy Spirit alone. Please lift up your hand. It doesn't matter what the natural code has placed on you. There is a greater power of the Holy Spirit that can penetrate secrets and mesmerize the code. Holy Spirit, thank you for this revelation. Release your power in this protest hour upon the man, the woman, the boy, the girl, the child, the seed in the womb, the woman carried in the womb. Release your power to begin to infect your divine code. That every other code shall be useless. shall it be. See, Holy Spirit fall upon me. Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit break out of codes. Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit that I've been in oppression in my family lineage in my business in my marriage in my fruitfulness Holy Spirit begin to break the code 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 Do your work again. Do your 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and it shall be, all without an amen. Precious Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead our souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Jesus, have mercy on us, blessed virgin may we help us. I raise this second mystery. The scourging and the pillar. When you say the moon is half, the moon can never be half. It is just that darkness of the earth has covered parts of the moon. The moon is never half. When the season comes, the darkness will go and you see the fullness of the moon. As you raise this prayer, whatever the areas of your life that the powers of darkness have been covering, may God declare your season of fullness. Father, indeed it is true. We look at the sky and we say the moon is half, but it's never half. I pray, Lord God, that whatever is covering the glory of your children, may the power of the Holy Spirit begin to erase it from their minds. Manifest your children in your fullness. Manifest your children in your fullness. As you lead them, Lord, through the grace of prayer, Lord, they will not fall back. They will not give up because they will get to their fullness. May God Almighty again declare your sins in this hour. That you will be revealed. Every attack they are bringing on you to shut you down will only reveal your fullness. Every means they are using to fight you, to say, Ah, if we let him be, they said of Jesus, if we allow him. Many people will believe him and follow him. It's better for one man to die than for the whole nation to perish. He said, but they didn't know that by launching such an attack, they are raising an impossible task. Hear me. The enemy may make your task difficult, but they will not make it impossible. They can make it create every for you, but they can never make it an impossible one to accomplish. May the Holy Spirit who makes all things possible release a fresh power 
that by means of this mystery of the scourging of Jesus, let there be healing for your destiny. And whatever the code of the enemy has mesmerized, may the grace of this mystery or do in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to hear three amen to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Raise your voices. Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. To the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As the force of the beginning is now and ever shall be, one without end. Amen. Precious Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead us us to heaven, especially in the most need of your mercy. And the third sorrowful mystery that comes down with tongues, please sit down. How do you explain how on the day of Pentecost, and Peter spoke one language, but people heard him in their various languages. <laughs> Again, the Holy Spirit knows how to penetrate every code. How do you imagine different people with different problems sitting in the house of God? And as prayer goes on, each person says, Ah, it's as if God knew what I was going to eat you. He has the cold. How do you explain that people hear God and they begin to receive Him onto their body? Because their faith connected to the power of the Holy Spirit that released the cold to that sickness, that affliction in their lives and mesmerize the cold and they begin to see themselves whole. 
I raise this mystery once again. That the power of the Holy Spirit would destroy every negative code in your mind. The natural code God has placed there for you is such that as long as you continue to come to God, there will always be an access. It is you, God. You, God. The vertical, the horizontal, this is the too powerful secret code to every mind. You came from God into man. When men have done all they want to do to mesmerize you from your resultant level or powers of darkness coming from below, as long as you continue to be connected to the divine, there is a power to use this that code. Father, send down that power. Once again, let that power flow over us. That every time the wicked launches their code, may the divine code resting upon us begin to neutralize them. Every time. That is the power of return to sender. It's not just because something say go back. No, there is a divine code that has been placed on you. That when the enemy shoots to you, naturally it will bounce back to where it's coming from. Father, set that code upon your children. That they will be free from fear and from the powers of those who hate them. May you, Lord God Almighty, continue to prevail for your children. So shall it be. So will it be. And so must it be. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, what in heaven, I will be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So say, I will be your name. Now, as we forgive those who trust us against us, and lead us not to temptation, but lead us not to your will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. And the very mother of God, pray for our sins, and I am for them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. And the very mother of God, pray for our sins, and I am for them. Hail Mary, full of praise, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of praise, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of praise, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for our sins, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. In the name of the Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. In the name of the Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, 
and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. In the every mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, one without an end. Precious Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell. Lead us us to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Jesus, have mercy on us. Blessed Virgin Mary, help us. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. I'm raising this mystery for whatever kind of attack you are experiencing in your life. Whether they call it panic attack, whether they call it schizo attack, whether it's a family attack, attack from your place of work, attack from anywhere, whatever attack, attack of beliefs, attack of um, manipulation, attack of insanity, whatever the attack, attack of your finances, attack of your health, attack of your families, your children, your business, your job, your career. Attack because they say they don't like you. I have heard that many times and hated hours of the enemy because they don't like you. Every evil spell thoughts they are holding to use to attack you. Both the hand that carries the evil pots and the evil pots they carry may the fire of God take over them. Yeah. I was driving long time ago on the expressway. I was actually coming from um, a hot to the knee. I saw a lady by the roadside holding a bottle in her hand. The bush, there was no houses there. Whatever she was doing, I don't know, but I think she was enchanting. And I said one prayer. Whatever the evil you are wishing, anybody you are fighting shall return back to you seven times over. That was the prayer I made. Of course, because I was driving. And I want to raise this prayer again this hour. There are people either on the streets, junction, in their secret rooms, they are columns that have raised a spell. Carry pots of bottles and conjuring your spirit to harm you. It shall not be business as usual. And I am aware, I remember I was in St. Patrick Parish. That precious night, the Lord opened my eyes. And I saw myself opening my window. And I saw three men bounded together, facing different areas, with a weapon to shoot. They were all using their back to tie themselves, and they were moving. And the Lord said, this is what goes on. Here. And from that day, I raise a prayer against every occultic power in that place. These are realities, and I am raising this particular mystery today. Whether they exist in the church, they exist on the road, they exist in the family, they exist in your working places, 
they will exist in your business center. May God send the fire to scatter them. Every spell that works against you, I command that spell to be destroyed. I made a prayer last night while I was praying. Along with this three days prayer. Because I know that there are blood that have been sucked. Innocent people that have been killed by wicked people. Forget it. It's not everybody that died that died in natural death. Forget it. Forget the theology. It is not even every death that is permitted by God. The Bible says the death of the righteous is God. It is not. Many a times our mistakes, our foolishness, our ignorance, anything can cause it. Our laziness, anything can cause it. So it's not every death that you say is the will of God. No. No, not true. But we are not going to remain like people who don't even have faith. In every war, some people will fall down. It's not everybody that goes to war that comes back. No, it's not everybody. I am asking God to strengthen you that in the war of your life, you will return back safe and sound. I am asking God and praying. Last night I said, Father, Every blood that the evil ones are taking, every blood, every blood that will cause men and women witchcraft have eaten by means of accident, affliction, or enemies, Lord, may those blood begin to fight for cause men and women. I have seen the blood of a bottle being defined for themselves. I've seen it. I was ministering to a lady, and the Holy Spirit spoke to me about the abortion she's done. And every time she sees the child, and while we were praying, this baby appeared to him in the face of the man that also had the seed. And you know what that child told him? I told her. He said, I will make sure you suffer for my blood you have shed. If anybody thinks that to shed blood means nothing, they lie. One thing God commanded is that man must not shed blood. And everyone who shed blood will give account of the blood he has shed. And that's why I thank God for the blood of Jesus and for those who come to know the Lord. And because they come to know the blood, the blood of Jesus said those things for them. But there are people, no matter what they have committed themselves to evil, that they will continue to drink innocent blood. I'm asking God that every blood they have drunk, we begin to make them restless. Yeah. And no more by the power of the living God. Whosoever has drunk your blood or the blood of your children and is still looking for him, may the blood they have drunk become their poison. Yeah. Father, this is a battle. And you said it is not a carnal fight. We stand in your sanctuary as they stand in their columns. It is the power of altar against altar. And Lord, as the rod of Moses swallowed the rod of the magicians, so too may this altar we raise today in prayer consume every evil altar fighting your children. May every attack launched at you be rendered useless this moment 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the children of God shout, Amen. Our Father, what's in heaven, I will be your in your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Louder. Louder. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now the of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now and the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now and the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now and the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, it's not ever shall be world without an amen. Precious Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the power of God. Lead us to the heaven, especially those who are most in the universe. The fifth, the crucifixion and death of our Lord Jesus. And on that cross, Jesus said, It is finished. Blessings of it. It is finished. I speak God's word for you, child of God. It is finished. For all you've been through, it is finished. For every attack you have experienced in your life, it is finished. For all manipulation, falsehood, Fight against your destiny, it is finished. Yeah. And the Lord said, It is finished. My Redeemer, for your children, I am before you, and it is for them that you have called me. Lord.
answer the Lord. There is nothing about me you cannot see. There is nothing about me you cannot see. There is nothing about me you cannot touch. Ha. There is one I call you my redeemer. Upon my knees I plead for your children, Lord. Protect them from all attack. In their agony. Give them comfort again. In their years of pain, bring them to a land of rest. Let them receive the power of your anointing. Where even in the presence of their enemies, they will sit at the table you have prepared for them. Bless them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. Deliver them, Lord. Restore them, Lord. Grant them breakthrough, Lord. In the name of Jesus. You may take whatever position, sit, walk, stand, anyone, a sweet, appreciate God who said it is finished. You may walk if you wish. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We say our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and bless the fruits of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Amen. Pray for our sins, now they are forgotten. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Amen. Every mother of God, pray for our sins, now they are forgotten. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruits of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. In the name of the Lord of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's not that we shall be more without an enemy. Precious Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in need of your mercy. Hey, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail the light, a sweet hope. To you do we cry, poor by the children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Tell them, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and not to place our hands on, shelter us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, Holy Mother of God. That we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O oh God, so that the God is suffering by his life, death, and resurrection. As for chess for us in the world of eternal salvation, now we beseech you that men meditating upon this mystery in the most of the closure of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Most sacred out of Jesus, most of us. Immaculate out of Mary, St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Michael, Gabriel, and Rafa, St. John the Baptist, St. Joseph, Fox. Blessed Hansen, pray for us. St. Peter and Paul, our guiding angels, bless and protect us. And all you angels and saints of God, pray for us. It is well, it is well. With my soul, with my soul, it is well, it is well, with my soul. Please declare it for yourself, it is well.
It is well with your family. It is well with your destiny. For the Lord God Almighty shall be God in your life. Because you call upon Him, you shall be saved. May God Almighty settle you because you love Him in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. May God honor you, protect you. I'm raising this mouth against every kind of attack, against every occult attack. From any angle, may the sacrifice of Jesus fight for his children. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you.